could be water, it could be rum, rum, rum. It could be any sea, everything going down, down, down. It could be water, it could be rum, rum, rum. It could be any sea, everything going down. Cause the bottles of rum, hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, Miss Trish here, Coffee Chronicles, but you know, I changed the name on Fridays, it's Wine Chronicles. Get your, uh, get your glasses, drink up, let's go, we're gonna have a good time tonight. I just wanna like wait a little bit just for like one more minute and then after that I'm just gonna start doing what I do. So thank you guys for watching, for tuning in. Like I said, get your coffee cups, your wine glasses, whatever it is you want and let's get this started. It's Coffee Chronicles time. Mm. It could be rum, we're my soca lovers. It could be Hennessy, everything going down. It could be water, hey. It could be rum. If you like this soca, this song is called Bottle Overhead by Wet Wetty Beats. I won't be playing it for long though, because I don't want to get uh, in trouble by YouTube. All right, so guys, YouTube, I mean Facebook, you know how they like to like censor us and stuff like that. Anyways, folks, welcome to this edition of uh, Coffee Chronicles with me, your girl, Miss Trish. Um, I come on here, I'm trying to come on here every Friday night at 8.30, but it is a little bit hard for me because sometimes I like to sleep at 8.30. I don't know about you guys, but my bed and I have been well acquainted lately and I'm just like not trying to miss it for nothing. So it's been a little bit tough to do Coffee Chronicles every Friday night at 8.30, but I'm going to try to stay committed. So first thing first, how is everybody doing? How is everybody's week? What's going on? What's new? Everybody who's watching, how's everybody's week been going? Let me just tell you, my week has been pretty calm. I can't say anything bad. Just only one thing happened last Saturday, uh, which I revealed on um, my morning show, which I do, it is the Empower Hour on Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. So last Saturday when I was walking to my parents' house, um, I almost got stopped by a police officer for walking with salmon in my hand. So basically he was going um, in the opposite direction of me. And when he saw me, I guess I looked like a boy or something like that because I had my hoodie on and my jogging pants on. So anyways, he was going in the opposite direction of my street and made a quick U-turn when he seen me. And then after like kind of stared at me like I was like doing something wrong. The only reason why I didn't put the salmon in the bag is it doesn't matter. Why are you whipping around to see what I'm carrying? I think the police officers are going a little bit crazy with this whole uh curfew thing and let me just let you guys know that at the time that this happened it was only four o'clock in the afternoon so I, I mean I thought that was pretty stupid I was just like okay why are you stopping he literally stopped and stared at me like where are you going it's like yo bro I'm just carrying salmon in my hand you may want to freaking relax I don't know anyway so that's that um so every day I do um well not not every day every Sunday I do wallpaper um, affirmations like I put them in different groups and things like that and this week I just wanted to let you guys know that they're actually downloadable you can make them your screen saver so here we are with that um, if you want you just go to my website www.allthingsmistrish.com and they are there so definitely check that out if you want um, what, is, what else was I going to say? Okay, yeah. Another thing is if you have never seen my documentary, which is called One Shall Not, about mental health, what I can do is I can send it to you guys via email. I know some people were asking me, where is it? What am I going to do with it? Right now with that one, because it's the first installment of my mental health documentary, I'll be sending it out to whoever wants to see it and whoever hasn't seen it yet. So if you want it, just DM me. It's very simple and I will send it to you. Um, I will warn you from now, there's some parts in the sound where it's not the greatest and it's because at that time I was just learning how to do my craft properly um, and now I know how I've improved on that in the sound area, so um, I am good. So that's that. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up, I don't know if you guys, you guys know that on Netflix now Moesha is on and um, you guys know I had to stop watching Moesha because there was too much fat, uh, fat shaming up in there. I found that they fat shamed Kim so many times. I was like, you know what? 
I can't do this. In the first like two, three episodes, I was just like, you know what? It's a little bit too much fat shaming for me. And then I looked back and I was like, yo, they do this in so many other shows. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Let's be real. Yeah, we know Will made fun of Uncle Phil a lot, but think about it. Think about that. About that. That's fat shaming. Seriously. Um, what else did they do it in? There's an episode of Girlfriends, I believe they did it in too. And I'm like, yo, we're not in the fat shaming. We're not fat shaming people. It's 2021. There is no reason to be fat shaming anybody. And they have this thing like fat phobia. And I find too, a lot of influencers are like afraid of this being fat. Like, yo, if you're fat, you're fat. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And like, if you're bigger, it is what it is. Don't make it seem like bigger people can, don't need love. And there's not some beautiful plus size models out there. I don't like that. That fat shaming shit, that is not for me. So I saw a lot of that on Moesha and I was like, oh my goodness. No, I got to turn this off. I, I was not Please, Have you guys, did you guys notice that? Anybody watching? Did you guys notice that there was some fat, a lot of fat shaming when it came to Kim on Moesha? Did you guys notice that? Anybody? I got people watching. Are you guys going to answer me? <laughs> I guess not. Everyone shy? Okay, no problem. But if you rewatch it, you will see that they do fat shame Kim. And the thing is, Kim's not even big. She's not even big. So anyways, I'm just like, I think that's kind of stupid in my eyes or whatever. Though, For those of you guys just joining, thank you for joining. Uh, Coffee Chronicles time, like I was just going to just repeat. If you want my documentary, just um, you can just DM me and I will send it to you. Or what else was I going to say? Yeah, if you are sending to me, and my affirmations are now downloadable in a screen, uh, a screen wallpaper form. Um, mental health. Let's do that really quickly. Mental health. Um, if someone is suffering in your life with mental health, please don't tell them just to pray about it. Let us stop doing that. Uh, people sometimes need to vent. They need to talk, or they need to see therapy. And a lot of my people in my documentary actually went to go seek therapy, and it helped them very much. We need to stop also shaming people who go see therapy. That is also not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? This, the therapy is not a bad thing. Don't make nobody feel bad for going to seek therapy. Let them do just that. Therapy is needed. I went to a therapist. Hey, and I was lucky to get a black Haitian therapist. And also too, it's important to have a therapist that looks like you. And I'll tell you why. Trey, Trey Anthony and I talked about this. It's very important to have a therapist that looks like you because they'll understand your struggle a lot more right? They totally will. So if you can push for a therapist that looks like you, get someone who looks like you so that you don't feel like you're just speaking to just anybody and they can probably resonate with you and give you advice that resonates and sits longer in your heart. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. That's what I wanted to talk about this morning. Uh, this morning, <laughs> look at me this afternoon, this evening, whatever you guys want to call it. So normally on Coffee Chronicles on Friday nights, I do this thing called 10 signs you're getting older or 10 signs of this or 10 signs of that. So I'm doing it tonight. So I encourage you guys before we go, because it's the last thing I'm going to do. And then I'm going to say peace because, you know, like I said, it's past my bedtime. Anyway, so we're going to do tonight 10 signs you're getting older. I want you guys to grab your coffee cups, your wine glasses, your water, your tea, whatever you drink at this time of night. And if this resonates with you, anything that I read, all you got to do is drink up. I know I'll be drinking, so I hope you guys are drinking with me. So tonight, 10 signs you are getting older. Does everyone have a coffee cup? Does everyone have a wine glass? Does everybody have something to drink? Let's go. I'm going to wait for like two seconds. I also needed that drink. Ha! <laughs> I also needed that drink. I think I'm talking fast and this light, I'm not even going to BS with you guys. It's freaking hot. So I'm like, whoo, let me just take a drink. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Does everyone have their glass? Is everyone tuned in? Perfect. Okay. So 10 signs you're getting older. So the first sign is you can no longer drink as much as you used to. A hangover, <laughs> a hangover now lasts a week, whereas before, some of us would drink, party, and then go to work the next day with absolutely no problem. Drink up if that's you. If a hangover is now, it like lasts you a week. A hangover lasts me a week. Let me tell you that. It so does. All right. The next up is your childhood crush is now in their later ages. So for me, my childhood crush was genuine. 
Genuine is now 50 years old. But the thing is, it's not a bad thing that he's 50 years old because 50 is not like how it used to be. Let's be real. You know, rest in peace, Cicely Tyson. She was 96 years old and she transitioned yesterday. But let's be real. She didn't crack at all. She was still beautiful skin, just regal velvet. It was beautiful, you know? So, but there's a couple of people who are a lot older and I'm like, what? This is their age? For example, Morris Ch Chestnut is 50. Blair Underwood is 56. Um, Shamar Moore is 50. We have Taraji P. Henson. She's 50 as well. And, you know, the topper of this all is Angela Bassett, who's 62 years old. So let's be real. Like, she looks fantastic. She's body goals. She's face goals. She's all that. They are all beautiful women and men. So, number three, signs that you're getting older. Drink up if this is you. Um, you forget people's name. <laughs> <laughs> I think when I was even younger, I was forgetting people's name. But drink up if that's you. You forget people's name. Okay. Number four. All of a sudden, when it gets cold or it starts raining, your joints start hurting like your knees. Like, oh, God, I have a pain in my knee. Or, you know, you got something like that going up. So drink up if that's you. If you all of a sudden, it start, when it starts raining or something of that nature, it you start hurting in your knee. You start hurting in your joints. <laughs> Drink up if that is you. It's signs that you are getting old. For those of you guys who are just joining, we're doing my regular Coffee Chronicles Friday Night Countdown. Ten signs. And tonight is ten signs that you're getting older. We are on number four. And I just said, drink up if you're getting older. The sign is all of a sudden your joints start hurting you when it gets cold or when it's raining. Ouch. Ha. Me. Me. When, it, when the rain is coming, I'm like, geez, Louise, my right knee is, is giving out. All right, number five, you don't know any of the new music, the new celebrities, the new rappers in culture at all. You hear these names like Lil So-and-so got arrested and you're like, who? What? Who's that? Or you, there's music on, like there's music playing and you're, you're like, I don't, I don't know who sings this. Drink up if that is you. You are not in tune with today's culture. I mean, thank God for the shade room in places like that because it does keep me up to date on who's who. But I'm just like, who? Sometimes I'm still like, huh? What's going on? But then when I hear it from the shade room and then I hear it in other places, I'm like, ah, I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with it. And I cannot do any TikTok dances. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm 35 and I still feel like I, I'm listen, some of these dances, they're moving so fast. I'm just like, you know what? I'm, I'm not coordinated for this anymore. I, I'm, I'm 35. I can't do this anymore. So <laughs> drink up if that is you. Number six, you misplace things a lot. Pretty. My problem is sometimes I just can't find my keys. I'm like, yo, where are my keys? I thought I put my keys here. I don't, or another thing is bonus, 6A, is basically you, you go in a room to find something like for some one thing and then after you come back and you're like oh shit what the hell did i go in the room for drink up if that's you that's point six a that is me a million times a day signs were getting old not bad just getting old okay number seven is you start sentences with back in the day you know when we were younger back in the day <laughs> if you start a sentence with that trust me you're getting older and wiser like fine wine it's not a bad thing. You're just getting older. Drink up if that's you. Well, let me do that again. All right. Number eight. Since we're on quarantine, I think even without quarantine or lockup or whatever, or lockdown, excuse me, you need an afternoon nap. I think afternoon naps are seriously, seriously critical. Seriously critical. Apps, like afternoon naps are definitely needed so drink up if that's you if you're getting older and you know that you're like yo it's two o'clock i would really i would really love a nap at this moment <laughs> number nine um you can't watch a whole movie on netflix or any of those streaming channels without falling asleep lately i've been trying to challenge myself i'm like yes I'm going to watch, uh, lately I've been watching the, the series Superstore because I like it very much, but sometimes I like to get into crime documentaries. If you guys know me very well, I like everything crime, <laughs> crime this, crime that, and I'll try to watch a whole movie about crime. And you know, I can't do it. I can't sit there. I'll fall asleep and be like, okay, whoo, or I'll have to rewind it and stuff like that. Like I really get my popcorn and my snacks and my little chocolate brownies ready and pff, halfway through the movie, half an hour in, 
I can't make it. So drink up if that's you, if you're not able to really sit down and watch a full movie anymore. Signs that you are getting older and wiser, but older. <laughs> All right. And lastly, um, when you go to buy number 10, excuse me, number 10, drink up if you're getting, you signs that, that signs are getting older and this happens to you. Lastly, when you go to buy wine or liquor, you're happy to be carded. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, yes, sir. And you proudly give them your card, you know, like it's a badge of honor. <laughs> Drink up if that's you because I sure know that that is me. I'm like, oh, can I see your card map? Absolutely, you sure can. Here it is, you just whip it out. Like, you know, it's, it's something. And even now it's like, they can't see your face because we're all masked up or whatever. So it's like, oh, even better. I mean, when we were masked up, it was actually a lot better. But anyways, <laughs> drink up if that's you, if you enjoy being carded at your age. All right. So that's that, folks. So I just wanted to let you guys know, again, uh, I'm going to do more Coffee Chronicles lives like this, 830 on Friday nights. I'm going to commit to it. I'm definitely going to do that. Um, I make sure you guys watch. Make sure you bring a coffee cup when you do do it or a wine glass or anything that makes you happy. Um, I just want to reiterate like I always do in all of my posts that self-love is the best love. Don't go shaming nobody for feeling or eating or doing what they want. Don't say anything bad to make anybody feel better. Sometimes if you don't like something, you could just scroll past it because that's just the way it is. Life is very simple if you make it, right? So, like I mentioned before in the beginning, for those of you guys who missed it, on a Monday, I'm going to be announcing that I have screen savers, wall savers of my daily affirmations that I put up every single, I put them up on Mondays. So those are going to be available for download on my website, www.allthingsmistrish.com. Um, that one is free, so you're going to be able to have a free download. Actually, if you go there now, it might be there now. Anyway, it may be there on my website now, so definitely go check it out. I will have some for purchase as well, no more than a dollar, because I know everybody's like, you know, struggling in one way or another. So, and those ones that are for sale will not be posted on my social medias. But I definitely want everyone to have their daily affirmations from me because I feel like we need those to keep on going, especially in this time. So that's why I create them because I just want, I genuinely, genuinely want everyone to feel good. And if it takes a few words from me, I am more than happy to provide it. So those are there also to the documentary, like I said, if you guys want to screen it, watch it, send me a DM with your email address and I'll gladly send it to you. And I appreciate you guys. Again, mental health is really important. Make sure you protect your mental health and protect your peace at all costs. Everything that you need to do to protect your peace, that mind frame, do it. Because at some point, we're going to get back outside. We totally are. I'm very hopeful for that. But make sure you have good people surrounding you. Make sure you're also watching and taking in good content as well. Because some of the things that we consume could really mess with our minds as well, right? So make sure that you're consuming good content as well to keep you going and just have like a blessed, blessed day. You know, sometimes things get a little bit rough, but don't worry, man. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. So just remember that. Anyways, guys, I'm going to head out. I started to play music again because I'm leaving you. <laughs> but I just wanted to say I love you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. Follow me on Instagram at all things Miss Trish if you don't. And I'll see you guys during the week. And, of course, again, like I promised, next Friday night.